Blog Talk Radio. Tell us then, Michael, who have uh, been your sources of your literary inspiration over the years? Oh golly, I'd have to um, I'd have to say that women have made the top of my list. Uh, for literary inspiration, mainly because I think before um, the end of the 20th century, to be a well-known um, author, uh, if you were a woman, you had to go by a male, man's name. I think <laughs> it's mm. ironic that my parents um, gave me Michael to begin with. Um, that yeah. helps. <laughs> yeah, um, that's right. Everybody <laughs> thinks you're a guy. <laughs> they were <telling> uh, <laughs> No, I'm not a guy. Um, I oh uh, gosh, I have a long list, but uh, I don't think I can do them d- justice by reading off their names only. Um, women who've written fiction, spirituality, feminist culture, social action, anthropology, and the natural sciences—they're all great, fine art or good read. They're all important as far as I'm concerned, all valuable, and they've all changed the way we've looked at the world. It's so exciting. We have people like Ruth Benedict and and Margaret Mead who who formed. Uh, anthropology and archaeology as as we know it today um, uh, segueing right into Maria Gimbutas who mm-hmm. who actually gave us the foundation for goddess worship uh, mm-hmm. that we we so embrace today uh, beautiful poets and and uh, scholars like Patricia Moynihan and oh, yeah. um, Another badass woman, Susanna Budapest. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. But I, I, I can't forget the wonderful writers who really put their lives on the line. Can you imagine Rita Mae Brown writing about lesbian <laughs> literature in Virginia in 1963, for instance? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Blows my, my mind her audacity. Yeah, or the bravery of Louise Erdrich, who who is a mixed blood um, German American Indian who writes all about the true side of reservation living. I mean, these are amazing, amazing storytellers that that keep me going, mm-hmm. keep me going. And there's look, Erica Jung. Oh, yeah. My gosh. Oh, yeah. See, she serenaded a whole generation in the 60s, 70s, and early 80s to explore themselves and find themselves. Oh, yeah. And then there are people like just last year with Catherine Stockett with the help. Very right. brave, brave woman. Very brave. And there are other people like Barbara G. Walker who wrote our, our encyclopedia tomes in the 90s. Wonderful. So the the list is on and on and on.